Hey guys, uh, so I am trying to build a BB-8 robot, uh, the new droid from Star Wars, um, which I'm sure you know about. Um, and this is the internal mechanism that I've come up with so far. This is all using uh, VEX parts and some random rubber bands holding stuff together, um, just because they're kind of low profile. So this is actually upside down sitting here, um, and the motors come and they plug into the cortex here, which is the brain, and I actually need to have motor controllers on them, um, but I need to grab those, and uh, I haven't programmed it yet, and I should be able to pick up the uh, outer casing um, tomorrow from Home Depot. It's actually a 12-inch uh, um, Lexan light, like a lamp post top, so it's a big round ball. So the ball uh, has an opening, which I believe is like five inches, so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to make a new piece for that to kind of cover the hole, and I'll have to cut the sphere in half so I can fit this inside, and I'll probably just use some masking tape to hold it together while I'm testing, because um, I don't really want to have it trapped inside right off the bat. Um, so I will hopefully figure that out and post a video if I get it working. Um, but what you can kind of see here is I have the brain and then the battery is in here. And uh, I have uh, one motor for each wheel. Um, the little wheels here have the motors and then they're chain driven because if the motor was driving straight on here it would actually hit the edge of the sphere. And I modeled this all up in CAD with all these pieces um, to see how it was going to lay out first. Um, and I have it offset, I don't know if you can see here, I have some spacers. Um, so that the center of this omni wheel is in line with this small wheel. Um, and these omni wheels allow it so that when the robot, these wheels spin, which spins the outer casing of the robot, and that the omni wheels allow it to, the outer casing to roll along here um, so it doesn't cause any friction. And then these wheels are the main drive wheels, uh, forward and backwards, and uh, so those will cause a little bit of friction on the points, but hopefully that won't matter too much. And uh, I, I made them big um, just so they hit a little bit more surface area and hopefully that helps out. Um, I might, I do have some smaller versions of these. Uh, I can also try other modify the design a little bit. I wasn't quite sure what was gonna work the best. So that's what I ended up with. Um, it's super simple, just four motors and four wheels with the brain and the battery. Uh, and yeah, so right now it can't go sideways, but from what I know of driving a Sphero for a little bit and looking at the movie, it doesn't really roll sideways or strafe, it turns and then goes. So that's what this can do. So the wheels turn the outer casing um, and orients it differently. And then these front and back wheels would drive front and back but because you can turn, you can drive in any direction. So I'm not sure if that'll work and how well it'll turn out, but hopefully it does. And yeah, so if you have any questions, I can try to answer it best I can. And uh, I believe there's a website called How BB-8 Works, which I, where I kind of got my idea um, of the internal part. And, you know, I was kind of thinking about it before and kind of had this idea. And I ended up not making these Omni wheels because... Uh, these have two rollers, and so they're actually fatter, and so I think they would actually cause more friction because they're not rolling the right way um, when they're going around just because they're just sitting on this point. So that's why I ended up with that, and uh, so hopefully I'll get it all programmed and get it inside the ball, and uh, we'll see if it works. So uh, thanks, and I'll see you later.